So my name is Rachel Goldust um, from Earthship Australia, which is a community organisation looking at developing earth building um, practices based upon Mark Reynolds's work, which is utilising recycled materials for um, self-sufficient living. Uh, Earthship Australia is a incorporated association in Australia based out of Melbourne and we work setting up workshops, uh, seminars, information nights um, and kind of trying to develop our um, capacity to sort of further educate communities about how to set up their own Earthship systems, houses and run workshops on their properties. At the moment, there's one permitted earthship in South Australia, um, which has gone through the full process of um, structural engineering um, to receive a planning and building permit. And there are probably two to four smaller ones under permit regulations and a couple of non-permitted. So we're looking at really amping up our workshop capacities to be able to provide more um, full-scale building projects for clients. There's a lot of interest in, um, in communities and individuals setting up their own Earthship uh, house um, and we would like to be able to facilitate the entire process from um, permit right through to um, um, building. So it's sort of bringing in community education and also allowing um, families and communities to um, realise their dream of, of building their own. Um, so ultimately we've got a lot of uh, interest in, in expanding our organisation. Um, one of the interests would be in furthering research in Australia, so testing Earthships um, in Australian conditions and the research would enable us to be able to use an Earthship project as a test site for building codes and building standards in Australia to make them more accessible to a broader amount of people that don't each, so therefore each project doesn't have to go through its own testing and research, which is currently what what people have to do and get an individual engineer to sign off on a project based on you know the specs on that site but we would like to get that sort of standardized in, into an industry standard so it can be accepted like straw bale housing which is a legitimate and accepted building practice alternative building practice and so research wise we would like to you know partner with a uh, green building organizations or university architecture departments to sort of enable further research Anyone can get involved, as we just said, um, airships tend to draw people from a very wide variety of backgrounds. Some of them have a particular area of skill or interest, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people have um, been at workshops in the past or have done um, natural building on a small scale or want to get involved through the tiny house movement or are really just interested in um, self-sufficient living and so there's a range of skills that you can learn at a workshop that will um, further your skill knowledge and then enable you to go and teach yourself in the future. So anyone can get involved, it doesn't have to come from a, a physical background and that's what I love about it the most is that it, it does not invite people from um, both males and females from all age groups and all backgrounds. So there's, there's, there's not a particular type of person that gets involved is just someone that has seen it as being something that they could then take into their own hands and go, oh, I could do that. So my name's Rob Leary and uh, I've been a plumber for, for 12 years and um, I'm currently studying environmental science and social science at RMIT University and um, I guess I got involved, well I only recently got involved in Earthships but I've been interested in the concepts for about three years. Um, I think it's growing. It's growing all the time and there's meet more and more people that are interested and more and more people are knowing about it. And I think, um, I think in, in five years time there'll be, there'll be um, an industry. And uh, I think it's the pioneering stage or phase is kind of nearly, nearly over and it's consolidating um, and building networks with different teams and um, different different people doing a lot and it, um, more and more builds all the time so it's a growing industry I guess you could say in, in, in natural design.